In order for this to disable our player, we we now have to connect it to our player on the target. That means who it's going to affect. We're going to drag that over to player. Finally, what we're going to do, well, not finally, then we then what we need to do is on a remote event, we're going to put, just as we did, open your level. So now, whenever the menu, when we press the button on the menu, it triggers the event, open your level, this will capture it, and when it captures it, um, connect out to in, then finally connect the console command to the player. Now the console command we want to enable, now I know you can't see it on my, on my screen, but there's a black arrow here, so click that, and click here. Open MG example game level. Okay. After you've done this, we're done here. So close the window and press the save all levels. Next, what you're going to want to do is close the editor, open your UDK directory. Go to UT game and the localization. Here it stores um, dot, basically dot any files that with the language languages. So every you want all your text in your game to have a uh, in file with every word. So let's say you want to change your language, you're gonna want to just point to a different um, any file that has the different language. So if you made an English game and a Spanish person, a person who only speaks Spanish wants to play it and you have a Spanish, Spanish any file, they can just, you can just make an option to where it will load the Spanish any file instead of the English. So we made a new text document, rename it to mygame.in. Yes, we want to change it. Open up Notepad and drag it on there. Now, let's explain <clears throat> a little bit of how any files work. There's the the keys, the values, and the sections. So here we have a section, so name this example of a section. Okay. Sections sections are there for organization reasons. The engine uses sections to when it parses the any file to find certain values and it makes it easier. So now Let's make our, here's our key, 01 is a key, and the value of 01 is most awesome title ever. Let's face that out. And here we're going to set another one to play click the bottom. Okay, so now, as you can see, 01's our key, and the on the far right, the text is our value. Save this. Okay. Right. Save this file. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is open up the editor again. Now the reason we had to close the editor was because the editor only finds and reads any files on startup. So if we, since we couldn't just add it, the, if we did just add it without opening the editor again, it wouldn't have read it. It, it would have thrown errors. So let's open up our example game front end again. Okay. Now let's open up the Unreal Kit. Let's open View Browser Content Browser. Let's open up our package. UT game. My game content. UPX. My game interface. Right click this. Edit using the UI editor. Okay. Now we have our button. So let's add a label. So what you're going to want to do is now we're going to right click, place widget, and a standard label. Press OK. 
Now it's going to start in the top left hand corner. Go to the white line to when you should get this four way crosshair. Click it and you should be able to position it wherever you want. So let's put ours in the middle. Now what you're going to want to do is go down and go to click data. Scroll down again. Now again, this is when my Windows Vista themes against me. There's two arrows. It should be the middle arrow. Scroll down. The markup string. Here you want to put this this set of options. Okay. So let's expand this so you can see the whole screen. Let's explain this little bit of information. This tells it we want to go to my game that is the name of our .int file example of a section, the section that we wanted to look at and then O, that should be O1 is the key we wanted to look at so that's how it's formatted the int file, the section, the key and the key can be anything and the section can be anything you want and as you know the text changed to what was in our int file <coughs> so let's close this right click save Now, in order for this to all work completely, we got to close the editor. We want to save everything, so yes to all. Now open up our UDK directory. Go to UT Game Config, and we need to we need to edit the default engine.ini. So right click it, properties, take off the read only. Okay make sure that's off so then on our right here where it says map equals UT front end we want to make this our front end so name this example game front end and the same thing with local map so let's just copy that over because I'm lazy okay now what we need to do is go to the the section, so we're just going to control F it, engine dot packages to always cook. Find this section, scroll down, and now here we need to add our my game package. So type in package equals <coughs> example game front end. So this this will tell the the front end that we always want to cook this part and this one map which is our menu then we need to go to example engine startup packages which is right there so we're going to add a plus sign package equals my game interface now this tells the engine and the editor we always want to start up this package then scroll move down to engine.packages to